Disneyland and Labrador. Caitlin Osmond. Growing up, I've always been the biggest fan of being the center of attention. I've always wanted to be a show off. And I even tried doing dance when I was younger and being the only person. No, no, I had to share the spotlight then. Don't like it. So when I'm alone on the ice and the crowd is around me and just all their attention is on me. So I was like, okay, okay we're going we're gonna to show off now. It's my time. Last March at her first world championship, an expectant home crowd looked at Caitlin ranked 35th in the world to finish in the top 10. A result that would mean Canada could send two women to Sochi. She has another supportive audience here in London, anxious to see what she can do at her first world championships. When I was going into that competition, I was a little more nervous. And knowing it was in Canada around everyone that I knew was around home. And then knowing that I had a job to do, they wanted me to come top 10 to get two spots for the Olympics. And... It was just all getting me at once, but then I just realized, I was like, I'm in this for skating. I'm in this because I love this sport. It's given me a lot of confidence. I had fun, and I just enjoyed everything it had to offer me, and it turned out well, and I got my job done. So far this year, I feel my training is being more focused and I get a little bit more frustrated when things aren't going well. And I think that's what the pressure is really right now, is that I want to do well for everyone. And I want to show them again this year what I did last year, and I want the Olympics to go really well for me, and I don't want to be the newbie at the Olympics who gets too overwhelmed with everything going on that the skating becomes too difficult. So far, she's made it look easy, and as she reflects on her success, Osmond says she's ready for the Sochi spotlight. I want to do well and show even more people what I can do.